A cinema in the occupied West Bank shows live pictures from inside the UN's top court in The Hague. Its ruling states that Israel must take all measures to prevent genocidal acts in its war on Gaza. But there was no order of a ceasefire to stop the killing. There was little surprise amongst those present when the decision came. They kind of lost hope in international law, in international humanitarian law, in international mechanisms. And they were very hopeful today and after this decision they are more disappointed. Israel's war on Gaza continues to be felt in the occupied West Bank. Israeli military raids have detained more than 6,200 Palestinians since the Hamas attacks on southern Israel on October the 7th. The Israeli army has killed more than 370 Palestinians in the occupied West Bank since the war began, and the Israeli settler violence has dramatically increased. The court should have ruled for an immediate end to the Israeli army atrocities and stop the war because Gazan civilians are unarmed, alone and desperate. The decision disappointed me. I was hoping this top court would at least protect the people in Gaza. But now, there are no protection for the Palestinian people, either in Gaza or the West Bank. And some believe the ruling in The Hague means Israeli army and settler violence in the occupied West Bank could get even worse. Israel will now increase its operations here. This is expected. The ruling is not a surprise. It again shows injustice from world leaders, injustice from the Western world in relation to Palestine. Palestinian Foreign Minister Riyad al-Maliki welcomed the action of the International Court of Justice in ordering Israel take all measures to ensure that acts of genocide are not committed in Gaza. But with no demand for an immediate ceasefire, that means that the slaughter in Gaza will continue. And so trust amongst Palestinians in the United Nations and in international law is at its lowest ebb since the war began. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Ramallah in the occupied West Bank. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.